Last time, our hero sold a Noman Axe after making him dance for naked one goal for the Prospector Axe? Work party in the Dead Mines dungeon. Oh my two god! pieces of blue gear and got slaughtered by the horde countless times. <laughs> Continuing Fuck the him, adventure, dude. I traveled to Lakeshire and contracted scoliosis after drinking mm. an indigenous brew of psychoactive alkaloids. Yep. Swak Wictus would come to find that when you're under a 10 minute scoliosis debuff, there's yep. nothing you can do but just wait it out and let nature run its course. By the way, due to my own what scoliosis, I get to make as many jokes as I want. I wish I was straight, <laughs> but God made me this way. Y'all ever have Oh, so that's much the warrior quest where you're drunk. I remember this. It? Pause for laughter. This Perfect. is where you laugh. I'm trying to remember a joke wait, someone told me. Wait, did I skip an episode? Yeah, no I didn't. Okay. About a week back, but I can't get it straight. Honestly, as a person with scoliosis, I don't think I'm that different. I'm like a normal guy, but with a twist. I then tried fishing with these two kids, only to realize <gasps> okay. that the dwarven fishing pole oh, I had was actually a gun. The downside was mm -hmm. that Roger and Jemin would have to fish on their own. The silver lining was that I now had a fucking gat. After doing parkour for 15 minutes to get on top of this building, yeah. by the way, I live a very fulfilling life, I found a group <laughs> to take down one bad hombre of an elite mob, Gathilzog. This oh, was the first shit. time I would use corpse running as a legitimate strategy. <laughs> you run up to his castle and die. Then you zoom right past the ridiculous number of elite mobs that occupy oh the my castle God, and go dude. straight to the throne room. This where you such all fucking cancer, at man. the same time. That yep. is if I had actually paid any attention to the instructions. People weren't paying attention. What a now, surprise. optimally, this is where we'd all res. Take out the two regular Andy, mobs, yeah. regenerate all our health, and take out Gathilnog. But need God, I remind dude. you that WoW Classic is a fucker's game. Half our party wiped is. just fighting the first two dudes. And it was whilst awaiting their return that I noticed. Blizzard had changed our guild name. Not a good look. Oh, Anyways, no. we all ready up for the fight. They give me the oh, green no. light to get this show on the road. I charge what a in, surprise. forget to pop my healing potion, and pretty much of get course. nerfed immediately. Oh, Without shit. a pen, everyone dies, and half the party leaves. <laughs> Luckily, it is a pretty popular quest, so we quickly got replacements. Okay, that's Although good. we did have to wait for them to go through the process of corpse walking. Yeah. This time around, we hit it like it's Y2K. I fear the mobs, completely ruining the fight for everyone. I was then banished from playing the game for like 15 seconds. It's a reoccurring theme in WoW to be CC'd for over 10 seconds. And in retrospect, this actually saved me from dying. In my, I, I feel like that's that's totally true. I mean, you, you look at the people in WoW, right? And like, the, the length of CCs in this fucking game. It's ridiculous. In Classic WoW, you get sapped for a minute? Sapped for a minute? Like, I mean, bro, like, what the fuck do you mean, sapped for a minute? Like, yeah, 45 seconds. Oh, yeah. Well, then they do it again, and then it's a minute. See, season while are way too long. I'll be right back. Can I take this? Opinion, Gathiel Sock is a bit of a boss man G when you really get down to brass tech. This is one of my Not favorite quest lines. I love though. this. I managed to loot Gathiel Zong's head moments before dying and say, Sayonara, it's been my utmost pleasure. Fuck him, And dude. I'm moving on to the next quest, losers. I did the same shit. Uh, can you come back and help us get it? No, bro, I gotta go. Sorry. Uh, I'm DCing. My, yeah, my internet just died. I hate... The true classic WoW experience. In light of recent demonetizations, you will not be seeing any more naked gnomes on this channel. It's entirely wow. my fault for thinking YouTube could handle such graphic content. You can't I, have that. I have come up with a new motto. But you know what they do have? They have videos of YouTubers that are wearing their hats sideways, and their video is called Kissing My Sister Who Happens to Be 12. And somehow that's completely okay. And, uh, you know, that's it, it's totally fine. I, I really, like, YouTube needs to do something about this degenerate content on their platform. Like, and I, I really mean this. Like, the degenerate content of kissing my sister the first time, and it's his underage sister, and, like, the thumbnail was her in a bikini. Like, just fucking delete their channel. Just delete their whole fucking channel. Do the world a favor and get rid of it. Like, I, I really mean that. Just delete the whole fucking channel.
to show that I truly have changed. I say Azeroth for all. So let's just all have a good friendly time here. Let's just have some fun. See, that's that's what I love about the classic community. It's just a community and it's just... <laughs> yeah, that's, it's such a great and place. If I recall correctly, I then went into the Stockades dungeon and wiped yep. immediately. Then I involuntarily left the party. In a moment of despair, I actually considered buying a new WoW GF, but um, good idea. saner minds prevailed. Then I leveled to the appropriate level, got a bit of gear. How much does a WoW girlfriend cost? How much does it cost? I'd say probably like 200 gold, right? It's your sub fee, 15 bucks. 15 bucks. I think it probably depends on how affectionate they are. You know, I, I think that really matters a lot. You know, is she going to send you little uh, little cooking recipes in the mail? Or or, or is she just going to do a quest for you and then log off and say, you know, I have to go because my dad tells me I have to get offline and she's 23 and her dad's actually her boyfriend and, you know, just kind of sucks. Uh, I, I think it depends. You know, you need a little bit of gear in World of Warcraft. And then I tried the Stockade's yep. dungeon for real this time. We make it to the final boss, where I tactically decide to fear the mobs, completely ruining the fight for everyone. <laughs> the feared mobs then go on to aggro every remaining oh, enemy no. in the dungeon. We almost immediately wipe and have oh, to run no, all the way back and, um... And our healer really okay, wasn't on point dude. for this one, I have to say. Yep. But with World of Warcraft, you never know what to expect. You never know if you're going to fuck everything up, or if the servers are going to disconnect. Yep. Or maybe it's, what's the mix-up? Reversal, and the boss actually fears you into all the other mobs. Oh, there you them, go. Making your party wipe. Something different. to walk all the way back. <laughs> Censored his guild name, laughter. dude. Deadmines is engaging and really well designed. Yeah. Whereas the stockades is Sucks. boring and... Shit. It actually exactly sucks. Why I did it the Stockades twice. is the worst dungeon the they've ever made. That leads the seal of Rin, a ring I really yep. wanted. I That's wish someone had one. told me that I didn't have to do the dungeon for a second time, but I suppose it's a learning experience. Now you might recall the gnome who I made. <laughs> well, he messaged me out of the blue with an item upgrade. Oh. That's actually happy vibes and good karma. He Happy requested vibes. we do stockades before handing it over. After okay. painstakingly going through stockades for the third time, he informs me that it's his weapon and he'd never give it to me. Now there are many <laughs> things I wish to call this gnome, all of which would leave me restricted by my technocratic oh, overlords. So I'm just gonna tell you what yeah. happened next. I found the answer to the question. What would happen if you fell off a boat right before the zone that loads into the eastern kingdom? Okay, let's find out. Well, You'd have a very long time to think about the consequences. Yep. You've got to ride all the way back. Actions. Then I killed some cows. <laughs> and I found out the hard way you're not supposed to walk anywhere near okay. the Terran Mill Death Guards. No. Then I took Surprise. my frustrations out on this poor hunter who was just looking to level in peace. Oh, he got Grew one stack of retaliation. That's when good. I was quickly reminded that mages can just freeze you and blink away. Okay. <laughs> Found the okay. Stonehenge and okay. decided to check my mailbox. I was kind of hoping you guys had sent me a bunch of gold so I could skank through this game like a primal fucking animal. Yet all I got hey. was 69 hey. copper. A glass of milk and a note telling me to stick my hand inside. And just with, when you think milk. you've seen it all, you realize World of Warcraft has so much more to offer. We Bull tried to kill Balgar as the Fowl God, and died five times in a row. At which point I, hate I decided this that all the events that had just transpired I hate that simply fucking wasn't mob gonna so cut much, it. Man. I would have to redeem the current state of affairs by entering yet another dungeon. I returned to Ashenvale, the southeast London of Azeroth, and subjected myself to a okay. ghastly experience. I believe that entering Black Fathom Deeps when the hour's about to ding midnight is about as close as you can get to simulating the conditions in a black hole. Okay. You start by finding a group of Oh yeah, of because it's just a waste of time and you can never leave. nothing better to do on a Tuesday night. Yeah. On your way through Ashenvale and Zoram Strand, you may encounter harsh adversity, which you must overcome. Uh -huh. Jump down this water temple and banana. swim into these narrow underground banana. tunnels. 
Now, mind you, we're okay. still in contested territory, so you may run into a sizable group of Horde players. Naturally, I did the only responsible thing and immediately ambushed them. Naturally, I did the only responsible thing and immediately ambushed them. Naturally, I did the only responsible thing. Naturally, I did the only responsible thing and uh -huh. imme immediately ambushed them. Yeah. Sorry, you know, uh, times are tough. I uh, had to outsource all my editing to a guy in Bangladesh. So if any of it seems poorly cut together, uh, if any of it uh, immediately ambushed them. Okay, you know what? That, that was pretty clever. Times are tough. It was rather unfortunate that they were... I think my favorite part of all of these videos is watching him run after a caster with retaliation on. Like, there's just something about that that just screams vanilla wow. It's just funny to see it happen. Two groups. They killed us camped our corpses for 10 yep. minutes, and then eventually moved on. We got absolutely cucked, having to move a safe distance behind them at a snail's pace, missing out on all the XP and items. After going through the death tunnel, we entered Black Fathom Depths. Little did we know, we had a long This is going to be the rest of, of the video. This I can almost can guarantee it. I was less of a Super Mario 64 Wait. person and more of a Diddy Kong racing person. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Now there's two quests for this dungeon. It's always funny for me to RNG. watch people fuck now, that up. You know I completed neither. Drop rates yep. in WoW Classic are notorious for being unreasonably low and very inconsistent. Yes. Or as the community would put it, yes. incredibly rewarding. BFD is definitely uh -huh. a much cooler dungeon than stockades. You got a variety yeah, of different is a lot enemies. Better. I like it's BFD. set in this underwater cavern where you have to clear out sea witches before swimming through underwater tunnels. That's you get cool. vibrant neon-esque green and purple colors That's cool. saturated to the gills. The item drops are actually worthwhile, and I'd put this on par with dead mines. It's just really well uh, made. Yeah, Other yeah. than fighting a few murlocs and sea threshers yeah, in Dark really Shore, good. this is the first time I really got my feet wet with underwater combat, and we were fucking killing it. Too bad it Literally no to reason ever do the dungeon. This was a pretty clean run without any hiccups. Yep. That is until we reached the Temple of the Old Gods, or rather the entrance to the temple. The, this the was waste the of time. moment where the extent of our ability to operate as a unit was revealed. We weren't very good. Oh, yeah? Zippin, bad effort, and yours truly tried fighting the mobs up on the sidewalk. That's good. Until That's the smart. Czar said, "Come down quick." At which point, <coughs> one minute later, I immediately jumped down whilst the others stayed up top. As I tried to save Dazar, Frothgar aggro's all the mobs and take them up to where I just jumped down from. <sighs> bad effort. Our healer lives up to his name and proceeds to flee the fight with full <coughs> health. We <laughs> then got sandwiched in the worst way possible and all died. Then it dawned okay, on me that dude. you have to walk all the way from the entrance to Ashenvale. Okay. Through Dude. Zoram Strand, over to the temple, through the underwater caverns, yep. to then enter BFD and walk He's got all the, the night elf ratio, he can run back faster. Wipe. Something I would describe as a tedious process. So one could only hope that we weren't gonna die anymore. We made our way through the mobs that had previously brought us trouble, rolled for a chest, I didn't get it, and then jumped in the water to kill the old Seracus. Once we slay the beast, I need for a cape that oh, I have no use that's for, really and good. get promptly disconnected from the Blizzard multiplayer experience. When I log back that's in, really I can good. see I won the cape. It's got pretty much the same wow. stuff as my current one, but it's green. Wait, is a century cape? Ah, That's really no, good. I really Holy get a good shit. look at it. I think I prefer the old one. Now, Fuck it. Dazar was a war-hardened WoW veteran. He knew this dungeon in and out, so the smart thing to do would be to just listen yeah. to his instructions as he knew his shit. Fuck he informs shit, us dude. to just Let's pull one or two there, mobs dude. at a time and fight them Fuck outside that the dumb temple. Ass bitch. do it and clear out all the smaller mobs. So yeah. far, so good. That's smart. He'd been preparing us for the boss fight. He told us for the last hour, over and over again, that once we kill the boss, we just shouldn't click anything. Something we've all agreed to on multiple occasions. Now, before killing okay. the boss, he reminds us one last time. Don't click anything. Please don't touch anything. Okay. There's these four shrines. That's good. And it's vital That's that good. you guys don't activate uh, I'm glad anything. now they know. That way they won't have to click anything. Part. I'm like, smart. geez, does he think we're stupid or something? Yeah, yeah, but what as the as it turns out, this man just had a comprehensive understanding of the spectrum of intelligence you may encounter in this game. Allow what me to mean? walk you through our effective communications right after we kill the boss. What do you mean? Ah, I need ah. one more pendant. Okay, so we don't touch anything. Well, still good pants for you. Yeah. Menacingly walking towards the four shrines in silence. Fuck's sake, no one move. 
What now? Need one more pendant. Oh, Don't no. click anything. Need one pendant. Already? Oh, I no. need two. I need two. Don't click anything. Starts Whoa. activating all four altars at Wait, once. Wait, what? Stop. What the fuck What's did I say? What's he doing that for? Why? Look head. Look head. Oh, we can't just press him? Oh, wipe. Ready. Oh my god. Fuck, man. Now, we could have Fuck, fought man. one horde of mobs at a time, but due to Hrothgar's mutiny, we were now facing four. Needless to say, wow. they wiped the floor with us, and we had to walk the damn pilgrimage yet again. Yep. After calling Hrothgar a donkey and a daydreamer, Bad Effort informs us that he had to go due to urgent matters in real life. At 1 a.m., we didn't really believe him, so we what told him to suck it up and smoke through it. In the words of the donkey daydreamer himself, Ah, well, I can admit when I screwed up. I'm yeah. sorry there. See, that's what I love about Classic. It's just a community. I'm gonna post this interaction to the WoW Classic subreddit. <laughs> when we then make it to the temple, we face the unforeseen it's consequences so accurate too. of Rothgar's like actions. It. Every elite so mob accurate. we summoned are clumped up in the same spot, making oh, it great. impossible for us to fight them one at a time. We have to kill them if we want to make it to the final boss. One guy has to fucking go, so I make the executive decision to pull all the mobs. Wait, he used somehow, retaliation and again. And I really don't know how. Well, we why? perfectly executed optimal teamwork. We all focus the right mobs in the right order. Keep wow. the aggro perfectly split between the two tanks. And we kill every single mob without anyone dying. Which opens the door wow. to the ancient gods. As the final foe, Akumai, stands before us, I do what I do best. With a spring in my step, a glint in my eye, and a fire in my belly, I ruin everything because I'm not very talented. Zippin was tanking, yeah. everything was going smooth until our healer ran out of mana. That's not Zippin's good. Zippin's health started falling dangerously low. Oh, it's fine. Akamai blocks my mocking blow, so he keeps attacking uh -oh. Zippin. I don't taunt the boss because I don't use defensive stance, and I forgot that I even had not. challenging shout. I don't think much of it. I mean, we've pretty yeah, much of killed him already. Not. Why would then, you use that? Akumai enrages. And starts That's a loser ability. Himself. As I ponder which ability to use, I remember that I have challenging yep. shout. Unfortunately, oh, wow. I opt to click on demoralizing shout, proving that I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing in this you game. You win some, you Within lose some. Within a 15 some. second time frame, it's Zip right dies. there on the bar. I die. Our healer dies. And finally, Dazar fell too, leaving everything up to Hrothgar, the man with a lukewarm IQ. He's gonna win. He's gonna kill him. He'll kill him. He's gonna kill him, 100% he'll kill him. Watch this, he'll kill him. On his last attack, he actually manages to fucking and the do turtle's it, gonna only kill him, to be right? taken down by one of the smaller mobs seconds later. His last words... Damn you, turtle. <laughs> Akamai drops a belt that wow. none of us can really use, and we leave the party. GG, but you won't I guess. Believe what heretical thing happened it's next? A nice little picture there. Week on Swakwick this bizarre adventure. Okay. A corpse made it to the water. Yeah, exactly. All right, that was really, that was really good. Yeah, this was good. I love this. Yeah, these are funny. These are these are great. Maybe I should make videos like this. These are these are really funny. I, I like this. Okay, next. We'll go to next. All right. Shut this up. Open door in five. Oh. Four. Oh. Now. Oh fuck! Let me in. <coughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bastard. Fucking scum, you hard scum. Oh, Just fucking let me there in. it is. Let me in. There it is, dude. <laughs> oh, and he can't get in the door now. Uh, I'm in. He's gonna Ooh. make it. Oh, so, yeah. Actually... You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Yep. Well, last time, our hero fought bravely to overcome harsh perils and tough yeah. times, completing Black Fathom Deeps in Ashenvale and flying off into the distance. Beautiful. So how did I end up storming Scarlet Monastery, a dungeon way above my pay grade, wielding an extremely yep. powerful weapon with a group oh, of wow. gnomes, one of which I hold a lifelong grudge towards, <laughs> who through a series of events I'll explain later, ended up unequipping all his armor to sit down and enjoy a regular regular day in World of Warcraft. And then, the Fire Nation attacked. 
Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. I'll have you know I've gone through much peril to bring you this video. The Death Mall saga sure. has finally come to a close as they've yet again declared my apartment legally fit for human life. I'll admit it, it was my fault. I should have refrained from chopping that milk in half with an axe years ago. But there's no use Wait, in why crying would you do that? over spilled milk. What's important is focus. What the, the fuck? Point, when and the where. I traveled from Eshmael to Dustwood, Who the fuck does that? Exploring a new land in search of quests. You see, I had to get oh to level God. 30 to execute Order 66, or as okay. it's referred to by the WoW community, absolutely ruining our game. But I digress. Oh, yeah. In my time too. there, I killed foul ghouls and scary skeletons. I met a man who through a very advanced form of schizophrenia was actually five people, four of which okay. were buffing his conscious self. I got enriched okay. by the local culture and killed yeah. a mage in his own bed. Completely honorless, but also something he'd never expect. Found a mob spawned inside of a wall. Fucking unplayable 15-year-old trash game. Became acquainted Damn. with what the locals refer to as the situation. And <laughs> I made an enemy who I harbor great negative okay, emotions dude. towards. Okay, I saw a bunch dude. of people posting in the chat about this one rogue who was just terrorizing this rogue? relatively low leveling area. When he finally got to He's me, scum. I couldn't believe it. He's level 35! Bastard. The same fuck- Like, how low is your self-esteem that you have to go and gank people at level 35? I, I mean, that's so, like- Honestly, like, you know what it is? The dude can never find an SM group. He can't quest for shit. So he just decides, you know what, man? This is my life now. I'm never going to hit 60 anyway. I'm just going to go out there and gank people. That's what happens. Typical horde player. Yeah. Can't find an SM group. That's what's going to happen instead. ...guy from way back then. <laughs> Getting ganked by a rogue in WoW is truly falling victim to one of the classic blunders. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool, Fool me, me twice. twice, and I'll advertise the creation of a mob to hunt you down. All Horde players are just people that had awful parenting, that's and it true. was time to Very cleanse true. Darkwood of this evil. We used a formation that's an American football referred to as the Dirty Gremlin. We split up in four three directions from where okay. the rogue was last seen and all act as bait. When the yeah. child in need of a proper father figure can't retain his misplaced emotions any longer, he oh strikes no. just as I expected. I rejoiced and truly and tasted his sweet ass beat, victory. Man. <laughs> Sindolf should have oh, known man. never to start a land war in the Eastern Imagine Kingdoms, being but only slightly losing less known the gray level this. alliance. Never going against the Night Elf when death Just is on the line. <laughs> he killed me and yep. logged off. And then I did something despicable. After reaching level 30 through various means which I'm yep. not legally obliged to disclose, I went scouting for a guild, not because I lacked companionship, but yeah. rather because I was gonna take them for all they had. That's you see, smart. at level 30 you get access to your warrior quests, which if okay. completed give you access to Berserker Stance and the yeah. Whirlwind X respectively. That's now, a big through one. traditional means, That's one could big, possibly big begin to take on these tasks at level That's 30. A big old boy. That is where the guild comes into play. You see, warriors... Yep suck so fucking much at leveling that they almost sort of default into being the best scaling class in the game. It's quite unimpressive when you think about it. Here's my math. Yeah. Due to the lackluster experience, yeah. warriors are in high demand, and guilds are oftentimes very invested in helping their warriors progress to a point where they can raid. Of Here's course. where the aforementioned ruse comes into play. I joined a guild and convinced this poor soul to help me through the entirety of my warrior <laughs> quest chain, which requires a <gasps> oh, no. couple steps. First, we have a stern talking with our warrior class trainer, <gasps> oh, Greedy, no. who tells us we Is need that to why travel he hasn't to a faraway island. With haste, I return to Duskwood and enter <gasps> oh, possibly God. the biggest world PvP clusterfuck in classic. the game, which now both it all thematically makes sense. and geographically is almost entirely like Vietnam. One of the actual yeah. inspirations behind this rumble in the jungle. Our goal is to make it to Booty Bay at the southern tip, where we'll not just pick up a flight path, but also take a boat to Merchants coast in the barrens. Yeah. I was terrified of all the horde players, and I focused so much on avoiding them that I died to the mob. With a few minor incidents along the way, I managed to claw my way through the jungle and get to Booty Bay. Uh, uh, probably shit, took that actually an hour. rhymes. That's actually yeah. bars. With the few minor incidents along the way, I managed to claw my way through the jungle and get to Booty Bay. Fuck. 
On the real though, compared to how much my friends and everybody in this game was hyping this area up to just be a death zone, the horde players were actually surprisingly nice just letting a low-level player pass through. They don't give I'll a fuck. Sure to yeah, they don't that, care. And I'll be kind to these horde players. Once I reach level 60 and return to this jungle with a hundred men armed to the teeth, but I digress. I can relate. Now, if I had jumped off the boat well ahead of time, I would have been right next to the island. Instead, I went mountain climbing for 15 minutes before realizing I went the wrong way. To then find out that there's Die. a fatigue system in the game, you can absolutely Surprise. exert all your energy and drown. <coughs> in World of Warcraft, you learn something new every day. I yep. finally make it to the island and speak to Clanock Megleod, a reference to the musician, who wants me to kill Big Will, what who's a great actually name. also a reference to the musician Big Will. After doing this Wait, man's really? dirty work, we learn Berserker Stance That's and a begin a big the guy. hard part of the quest. We journey all the way to Hillsbrand Foothills, mm -hmm. tie to Helcular, up Again. through the Alterac Mountains and speak to Bathra the Windwatcher, who gives us the WoW class quest equivalent to 40 shots of tequila. Oh, wow. At once, we gotta bring him eight life root, 30 blood scalp tusks, and an essence of the exile. The life root is pretty cheap, but we'll be bankrupting oh, our economy boy. for the essence. You see, to make it, you need eight oh, cresting, boy. burning, and thundering charms. Something I could spend oh, a week grinding boy. or just buy on the auction house. Yep. After getting scammed by various Chinese auction house bots, yeah. I headed to Stranglethorn Vale to meet up with the man who was spending hours of his life helping out a new guild member. For now, no reason. Blood scalp tusks I never knew Greek was such a nice rewarding. guy. This is crazy. And by that, I mean agonizingly slow, yeah, this is unreasonably awesome. inconsistent, and altogether wow. an irreconcilable experience void of any gratification. Yep. We have to kill trolls until I have 30 tusks. It's not unusual and to kill troll 10 without getting a, a single drop. There is one yep. area where a lot of <laughs> trolls spawn, but we got to kill there and five times contested. in a row and decided it wasn't fucking meant to be. Which left us with the option of farming this much shittier part. It felt like the good area, but sugar-free. Like the discount experience for the losers who couldn't hack it. Great this was value trolls. tusk farming, and I wasn't having fun. Yep. In the jungle, there's no mercy. You kill people to steal their mob. You kill people to layer them. Yep. In fact, you kill people just because you fucking can. It's not like you got anything better okay. to do whilst waiting several minutes yeah. for trolls to spawn. I started farming these tusks at 1.30 a.m. and it took a solid two hours before I had 30. By this point, my man had actively been assisting me oh for nearly four God. hours. Oh, oh fuck. my fucking God, We then journeyed God, back to the dude. Alterac Mountains to wow. complete the final part of the quest. Holy After shit. Bothra cooks up a potent concoction, we perform the summoning concoction. ritual. After uh -oh. which, Cyclonian kills us immediately. <laughs> it wasn't even close. We definitely needed yeah, assistance. I was about to I say. Looked through my friends list, and the only person online was Larry Six. Oh, the great. Infamous gnome he can doom. use his weapon. I swallowed my pride and asked for his help. He obliged, and with the help of a couple people from my guild, we finally wow. managed to take down Cyclonian. Feels I like an MMO. The quest and was finally the proud owner of the wow. Whirlwind Axe, a weapon so goddamn Whirlwind. good for my level that Whirlwind it should be axe. illegal to wear Whoa. at level 30. Whoa. After receiving the axe, I one. told my guild it's been a pleasure doing business with them, and immediately left the guild. <laughs> Hold on, darkness just takes God me. damn, dude! We're so Larry and I agreed damn. to meet up some other time to settle Thug our differences. Life. And it was at this very moment that I started rising wow. to glory. You see, I checked my mailbox. Abortion sent us a letter titled, Got Milk, containing yeah. 235 glasses of milk. He also included oh, a second package with five pounds it's of amazing. flesh, troll sweat, Mystery Beautiful. meat and vision dust. Absolutely incredible. You know incredible. what to do with these. Sounds like Fuck. my viewers. Send us 69 silver to compensate for what he did in Dead Mines. This yeah. letter was titled, Mental Disability. Here's two gold for the trouble, <laughs> you poor rascal. Huckster says, use these to beat wow. mages and sends me two free action potions and oh, two swiftness potions. Damn. These will come in very handy. I bet they will. Diarrhea says, wear a shirt, you filth. I humbly okay. accepted my new garments. Mind okay. if I put my sweet nectar in your moist cornbread? Please don't message me again. 
and Rurik makes a generous contribution to the ten crusade. Ten gold! These ten gold will be spent very ten well. Ten gold, I'm gonna invest dude! Them in goblin rocket boots what that a might nice blow guy! Up in getting e drunk with presumably women. This is women. a great guy! Speaking of presumably women, oh. I got a promiscuous letter from Big Titty GF who sent me some of her homemade cheese. Hey. I told her it Wait. was disgusting and sent it back. Yeah, and it's now nasty. it was time for a dungeon. Not the one from the intro, we'll get uh -huh. to that, but yeah, rather it say. was time to bludgeon our new axe on Gnome Ragan. The only dungeon in the game where almost every single enemy is a gnome, a dungeon I chose for no particular reason. Starting time, 1am. Catchphrase, here we go again. If God is real, amen. Wow. Just kidding. This run was a disservice to human intelligence. I thought that was a quick 20 minutes for a second. Okay. During All right. Plus hours That's in good. It's honestly impressive that this many things could go wrong at the same time. Yeah. Check it out, right? Actually, I couldn't get the first key You're only starting. Probably because of a bug, but possibly due to unfathomable bad luck. <laughs> so no quest XP for me. Later, we survive yeah. an ambush, after which Blastmaster Short Fuse sets off an explosion and closes the entrance to the tunnel. Somehow, I manage to walk through the rubble just at the moment before the invisible wall gets put into place. And there I stood, completely softlocked. <laughs> wow. I couldn't hearthstone out or Fucking get my health wow. to zero. Had it not been for the warlock summoning portal, wow. I would have had to start a new life as a cave dweller. I Our whole group then goes on to miss the second punch card. Ah, and that's great. Your needs for a ring with spirit and stamina. Oh, yeah, this caused great. Tractor, our mage, to have a mental breakdown. Fucking as retail I'm kid. On the chat, I managed to aggro a group of mobs. Classic my wow community. Stand still and watch me die. I call Tractor a redditor. He leaves the party, and I managed That's to get exactly good. 11 not out of 12 essential all. artifacts before having to Imagine give up. being a Considering Redditor. Considering literally everything went wrong, I thought it couldn't possibly get any worse. So mm -hmm. I find a new group and start all over. That's good. That jump was perfect, by Smart. the way, and on purpose. Gnome Regan, or Nomerigan, Gnome Regan, Gnome Regan? Is a stale experience with a bit of charm to it. It's not utterly poorly designed like stockades, but there's nothing extraordinary either. So let's There is, but it's too complicated to figure out. Like Normorgon's a great dungeon, but you have to have a PhD to understand it. Like you have to have not just a PhD, but a PhD in Normorgon. Like if you don't have at least a master's degree in physics, don't even bother going into this instance. It's a waste of your time. Let's get past all the boring shit. 5 a.m. We wiped to these arcane nullifiers. Oh and yeah. Got to re we did the same thing. Blizzard's patented, gruesome walk to your corpse oh, gameplay. Yeah. We make a calculated jump High that brings gameplay. us within an inch of losing our lives. Ooh. I get disconnected. After reconnecting to the Blizzard multiplayer experience, I use oh, the that must be blow too because might as well while I have the chance. It's not like and I'll ever enough. do this godforsaken fucking dungeon again. Then, after a long night of harsh grief and misfortune, it was time for the boss. That's good. <sighs> you already know what I did. If you've seen the first three videos, you, you know the pattern, you know what's coming, you've seen this before. Going utterly yeah. against the suggestions what's he doing? of my comrades, I what's charge he doing? in whilst our healer has zero what? mana, proceed to die without popping my health potion, and oh. somehow I still have the, <laughs> the fuck fucking is wrong nerve with you? to ask for a goddamn revive whilst my whole group <laughs> is slaughtered. Off. After we all wipe, I had to undergo the walk of shame. After <laughs> oh no! amount of time to get back to the boss room. This is really funny whenever I'm not in the group. It's at this point that I'm supposed to feel satisfaction. Yeah. But let me tell you, no matter how need many I, completed quests need. I have in my log, no matter how close I am to hitting level 32, need there's absolutely no happy juices left in the brain yeah. when you're at the tail end of an infamous wow session till the sun rises. The <sighs> Having had my fill Beautiful. of dungeon grinding, I decided to go on an adventure, on seeing as I'm the type of Both person probably. who would rather spend three hours of my life than Google the next appropriate zone for my character. Yeah. I started at Hillsbrad Foothills. Went through Silver Pine Forest and found a giant purple ball in Dalaran. I met this undead priest who okay. danced with me and that's licked nice. me, after Ooh. which I'd earned his that's, trust. That's good. I led him into a faraway cave good. and fucking killed him. I swam across Lordemir Lake em, and dude. met this old couple living in a house. 
I found out the hard way that they don't take kindly to strangers. No, they when don't. I finally got away from them, an assassin unstealthed and killed me in cold blood. And then I did all that again in wisp form. After That's which great. I entered horde territory. What and could since go Tiraspal wrong? Glades apparently what wasn't could go scary wrong? enough, hey. I decided to venture into Undercity. Yeah, what's I in here? I quickly changed my mind. Now here is where my yeah, exploration took an unexpected turn. I saw a Zeppelin for the first time, oh. seeing as it was garrisoned by Death Guards, packed to the brim with Horde players, yeah. and headed to an unknown destination. I immediately knew I had to board it. Okay. Using corpse walking, I res inside the oh. airship and fly off into the distance, eagerly awaiting unknown lands. Now okay. the very unfortunate thing was that an orc found me, oh, shit. considering I revealed myself that really shouldn't have come as a surprise. As yeah. he enforced natural selection at its finest, I managed to hold on to oh. dear life just a tad longer by doing my sexy dance. When he started skanking, I actually thought I was safe. Wait. But lo and behold, oh he was still gonna end me. <laughs> and just as I'm about to die, we enter the loading okay. zone to Kalimdor. Having mildly better internet oh, than Oh, great. Now we can go over to the moment and He's jump even out better. of the blimp. I land safely in the water and swim to the shore. However, it didn't take long yep. for me to realize that this was no place for a night elf. With a great no. sense of urgency, I decided no, to take the airship back. In Durotar, you can expect to run into just a few, j just a couple horde players yeah. taking advantage of the free public transit. I zoom past them and I hide so. in the cargo hold. Everything was going smoothly until I was yet again discovered by an orc. I tried this, to he'll be nice. This guy will be nice. He won't attack. I quickly discovered him. that he had all the leverage. Very polite. When he inevitably nice. tries to stab me, I jump out of the zeppelin. I survive the fall just to be met by a small army of horde players that can all see the big red arrow above my head. I suppose uh -oh. what happened next was to be expected. Yeah. I'd had enough of this shit and took yeah. the Hearthstone home, flew yep. to Theramore Isle, and ran through Dust Swallow Marsh. <gasps> With only a handful of deaths, I trek my way through the barrens and make it to Thousand Needles. So my gnome friend here is one hit away from dying. Naturally, I do everything in my power to save him from this gruesome sheep, who much to my surprise turned out to be an orc under a spell. <laughs> Man, look at that. That's just goddamn beautiful. It took me three hours. Now in WoW, you can't actually communicate oh, with dude. the Horde. Whatever they write gets distorted into Orcish, but people He's have pissed. figured out how to type shit in Orcish. And when I tried yep. questing only to be slain time and time again by this bastard who kept telling me to go back to retail, I'd had enough of this terrible place. In the yep. last ditch effort, I went to Gadget Sand to pick up a flight path so this entire journey hadn't been for nothing. And that was the very moment that I received a message from the gnome uh -oh. asking if I wanted to join in on farming Scarlet Mon Monastery, on the condition oh. that I stopped picking on gnomes. Even knowing oh, my track record with do. dungeons in WoW, I convinced myself that this was the move, seeing okay. as the boss could yield an axe I wanted more than anything else in this game. Therefore, Ooh. I went all the way back to Hillsbrad Foothills and met That's up with the Larry. Big boy. And this is actually the funny part. Remember that entire journey I just described to you? Yeah. Now I had to do half of it again. And together with That's an great. individual who simply couldn't stop talking about how I should stop being mean to gnomes. So you like to pick on little guys, eh? Oh, With 10% luck, 20% oh, skill, no, and 15% concentrated power of will, we actually make it to our destination in one piece. Now, if almost every dungeon leading up to this was a full-blown clusterfuck, this was a well-oiled machine. A symbiotic magnum opus showcasing team... Work and synergy I never this is, uh, thought the possible. True classic Having experience. several mages busting through armory is a fucking beautiful sight to behold. That is. Prior to this, if I aggroed a few mobs, I was the bastard who fucked up. Yep. Now, anything less than 10 mobs was considered wasting time. It is. I had to throw in the towel and admit, Alright, I'm having a good time here, this is fucking gameplay. Larry even drank the Noggin Fogger Elixir, which made him even smaller. Oh, and right. honestly, I respect a man of that size. These gnomes were clearly like the giving size me the of their shoes. hookup, and I could do nothing but reciprocate. Leading us to the part in the intro which I so shamelessly clickbaited you with. Yep. Unfortunately, I'm sorry okay. to inform you that nothing extraordinary happened beyond that point. We ran the dungeon a couple times. I got Herod's helmet and shoulders, yet oh, wow. no X. Where's Ravager? The day after, I decided to try again with a new Where's, group. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh, there you go. painfully slow. We ran the dungeon for yep. four hours before the Ravager finally dropped, at which point, Svan Pult, the man who'd previously Need. informed me that the X was Need. of no use to him, needs on it, and I lose the 50-50 roll. 
Dungeons and World of Warcraft, man. I'm starting to see a pattern here. What a dog shit game. What a dog shit game. As a silver game. lining, to end the video on a high note, I okay. rekindled with my bangin' WoW GF Elizabeth. Wow. She'd been grinding the real world, resulting in a solid what level a deficit, loser. landing me the power position in the relationship. That's right. Financially, I was a powerhouse. DPS-wise, I was a primal fucking animal. And uh -huh. that's why they always come crawling back, especially right. if you don't tell them about the letter from Big Titty GF. Anyways, Ooh. that's the end of our journey for now. Two time. Getting E smashed with presumably women. Would our hero ever get the Ravager Axe? Would Swak Wictus rise to the occasion? And what gruesome adventures awaits our hero? I suppose you'll find out if I don't quit <laughs> playing this game. Which I might. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. I, I think the best part about this is like, as a good player, or not a good player, but like an experienced player, right? You like see him sitting there with like a heroic strike queued up and it's like, bro, just hit the fucking, just go and you hit execute and he doesn't hit execute. He's just fucking around. Now we are going to watch the next one. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to watch this video. Last one. Hopefully, is he continuing the series? Yes. Okay, good. Last time our hero attained the world Windex traveled to unknown lands, fruitlessly farmed Scarlet Monastery, and rekindled with our bangin' WoW GF. Continuing the adventure, I bricked my computer trying to install an SSD. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and decided that in the spirit of relate. fiddling with mechanical contraptions much too complex for my feeble human mind, I wanted to be an engineer. You see, oh, I wasn't having nice. fun with mining and blacksmithing, so Wait, I picked not? two of the most financially viable professions in the game in exchange for the least profitable job in Azeroth. Yep. A stark being contrast to being an engineer in real life. Ignoring Holy the impending shit. need for money to buy a mount at 40, I viscerally followed an engineering leveling guide, knowing full well that my viewers would send me money to give me the authentic Asmund Gold experience. I spent a good 15 minutes <laughs> making this jump, so please appreciate my position of tinkering. Okay. No one in this game seemed to acknowledge okay. my masterful movement. Anyways, I decided that the steep price for core stone on the auction house was a bit of a ripoff, right. and decided to go all, all the right. way to Darkshard to get them myself. Okay. After a few hours, 30 minutes of honest work, I returned to Ironforge. Before I started this gruesome what, what endeavor, I wish someone had told me that the level cap for my professions scale with my actual level. I had basically kind of just wasted a bunch of time and gold to familiarize myself yeah. with the steep learning curve of this bastard 15-year-old game. Yeah. I still While keep thinking it's small dickus. I disconnected and a bug spawned me into guaranteed death by drowning oh, perfect. in a location where I couldn't possibly recover my corpse. Oh, you can the go get the title Blizzard, now. though. I got to my destination Chinchy, faster. Five subs. Together Thank with you, my man. companions, I went back to Scarlet Monastery where we got ambushed by angsty teenagers. Oh, Unlike yeah. my friends who fought bravely, I pathetically yeah. begged for my life and bought myself yeah. some spare time by do. performing a sacred <clears throat> mating ritual. Lil uh -huh. Sundo the Lich graciously spared my life. When entering the dungeon, nice I experienced the usual fuckery that I've grown all too accustomed to at this point. Our healer dies and asks me to actually taunt the mobs. You can't I inform our healer fant. that I don't use, use defensive stance because I have too much testosterone. That's smart. Our DPS claims he's doing everything and that I'm not capable of DPSing. I'm sure, that I'm sure I they'll like be that. Because so I'm why are you playing a tank? Yet I let the numbers speak for themselves. Oh, winking Sahara, damage meters. Dies in the extremely yeah, he's learning the game now. Move, after which she tells me that I should have held aggro, our quote-unquote DPS, then yeah. cowers in fear instead of attacking the boss. Wait, that's a DPS? We wipe and start Back all over. Backpedaling away Once without auto attack? we finally manage to take down the boss, he drops these six set pants. I roll a 22 and a single tear falls down my face. We try to run the dungeon one more time, and yep. with our inoptimal setup, we painstakingly skank our way That's through good. the whole thing. That's impressive. Excited, I type. Great. Now the axe drops, and I That's roll a 99. Right. However, well, the boss was nowhere to be found, because I'm apparently incapable of properly resetting a dungeon. <laughs> apparently, leaving and re-entering isn't enough. You also had to click a button. <sighs> Since I'm goddamn tired of showing you me farming armory okay. over and over again, here's my 37th right. run where I finally acquired 47. the Ravager. Woo! Yeah!
There it is, dude. This is the single biggest upgrade to the stand and hits oh, gameplay. Oh, man. Now, this game is fucking easy. Look, I don't even gotta do anything. Mm -hmm. Although, for fear of copyright infringement, I recreated this music piece myself yep. with a royalty-free beat. You spin me right round, baby, right round When we go down, when we go down, down I hear that, yeah, yeah alright Yeah, I couldn't really That's find good. a matching beat But, you know, That's really good. times are tough Then I check my mail to find the most Take generous donations cleaver? to a crusade thus far Daddy Chill graciously offers Wait, is that the Burning Warrex? Warrex oh Or as he calls it, his kook cleaver My first purple oh piece my of gear God. Excited to test it out, I go to Stranglethorn wow. Bay, the North Korean border of Azeroth, wow. home to the Gurubashi Arena, a coliseum of free-from PvP, where once yep. every three hours the arena chest spawns. It was 6am and I decided to try my luck. At this ungodly hour, the arena wasn't filled with dozens of people, but rather just two individuals. Just two the survivor was a level 44 Kill warrior, him. and Kill since him, I dude. could tell he was enjoying World of Warcraft, Kill I decided to Kill extend ass, the dude. game's lifespan for him by a Kill couple his minutes, ass, landing me the arena chest on my first Wait, try. What? I'll have you know that in over 100 hours of game time, oh, looting this so chest toxic, with PTSD dude. from all the rogues that have previously wow. unstealthed behind me, with the most nerve-wracking 5 seconds yet, wow. perhaps on par with Hrothgarth's final moment. No, yeah, why have an execute? Damn you, turtle. I later tried Sad. again at 9 and 12 a.m., and it turns out I just got extremely lucky. Yes. It's nearly impossible to get this damn chest. Yes. Satisfied with the spoils of battle, I went to Booty Bay, where I found an AFK player. Going against my better judgment, I decided to ruin his day. I should have looked twice, though, because this was no player. It was the Horde Griffin Master, <laughs> who ended my measly existence in seconds. I said, I'm fuck this, he it's was time to go on an adventure. I managed to get on the mountains him, between Stranglethorn and Darkwood by glitching up a wall. I looked into the horizon and immediately knew I had to go where no night elf had dared venture. Yeah. When I saw the hard, clear-cut line in the textures, I knew that Blizzard didn't intend for us to access this area. It looks fucking cool though. Exploration yeah. is definitely one of my favorite parts of MMOs. We do this Since all the time. Since this is a this long is journey, I'll, I'll tell you a story along the way. Okay. So you know how I've consistently been getting disconnected from WoW? What yeah. if I told you that the problem wasn't the Blizzard servers, but in fact my own computer? I wouldn't this believe This is fucking you. nuts, right? But in my motherboard, there's this thing called a CMOS battery. And apparently, what? Windows relies heavily on this battery to tell the time. After six years, my CMOS battery had ran out of power, so? which caused my BIOS to not be able to store the time. Five so to ten times a day, it would set my Windows time to 11.30 p.m. Uh -huh. What's funny is that my router relies on the time, so it would pop me off my internet every time that happened. I'd like to say that's why I haven't streamed in months. But truth be told, it's because I fucking hate streaming. Anyways, I ordered a new CMOS battery online, hey, but because I'm same. stupid, Yo, same, dude. because my parents dropped me on Fuck my head as a sucks. kid, but likely just due to my lack of education, totally I sucks. bought the wrong one. And this next part is kinda unbelievable, but genuinely true. Okay. I happened to find the correct battery lying on the ground outside of where I do physiotherapy for my scoliosis. That's Together with a friend, I busted open my computer way, only to find myself in a troubling predicament. Okay. My motherboard, the Asus Maximus Formula 6, has yeah. all this armor on it, and along with it, a massive design flaw. To get to the CMOS, I would have to literally take my entire PC apart, Just buy a new to one. then unscrew the armor from the Just back buy of the a new motherboard, one. then install the new CMOS, put everything back together, and possibly twice in case the battery I found on the ground was used. Considering that it's six years since I built this PC and I almost bricked it trying to install an SSD, it's yeah. safe to assume that this process would completely break my computer. Yes, there's my no way solution? you're getting through that. I decided to there's use no knives, way. scissors, and pliers to directly cut into mm -hmm. my motherboard. Oops. Eventually, building my frustration to the point where I brutally ripped off the armor with my bare hands. Yeah! After God which damn! I put in the mysterious battery that I fucking found on the God concrete damn. outside, plugged my computer okay. back in, and it literally fixed the entire problem with no repercussions. Great. Moral of the story? Use power tools on your motherboards, kids. Keep and track also, of your I time. I really needed some filler for the middle of this video. I don't know if you can tell. Anyways, okay. this is where yeah. I ended up. I'd gone all the way past Darkwood, Deadwind Pass, and the corner of the mm -hmm. Blasted Lands, behind Zolgarub, to finally end up at the back end of the Tainted Scar, yes. from where I only had one path available to me. I right. engaged in a kerfuffle with gravity and stress-tested my bones. 
I was then forced into Stress attendance test failed. resurrection sickness and a 25% durability penalty on all my equipment. Oh, that's Mind great. you, in an end game zone with oh. one singular oh, yeah. this is who enforced his own all-encompassing no hearthstone Yeah, he's philosophy. a little bit low level for After this, a huh? reminder of what World of Warcraft is actually like, I returned to the intended gameplay yeah. experience. Of Scar I made Monastery. a dreadful choice when I decided Ooh. to go questing in Arathi Highlands. Ooh. That's gotta a mistake. Gotta kill these elite mobs. Unbeknownst to my party, I'd already attempted this yesterday with different people and I had Otto's head. Yep. There's two bosses, the other being Falcon Crest. You know the drill. We corpse walk into the castle. I the don't have any healing thing. potions and I refuse to use shields. Fuck of em, course, Never we use fail a shield. miserably. But you gotta understand, oh, we're yeah. veterans of this shit. At level 36, we're dungeon hardened fucking animals. That's right. All of us have been through That's this right. countless times. It's That's a right. goddamn well oiled machine. Our mages polymorph Otto and the regular elite mob. Mm -hmm. A spell that would keep them as helpless sheep for 45 seconds, if not for the fact that we immediately damage them breaking the spell. With our primal Why? instincts, we execute extremely basic Why? game mechanics and Why exude a very simple coordination required uh to beat this. That is right until a party of Horde players okay. waddled in and clearly demonstrated that they didn't intend to wait 10 minutes for <laughs> these dudes to respawn. Okay, we dude. And begrudgingly return to the castle. Then Typical wait patiently. Horde. That is until seven minutes later, when I realized that Falcon Crest's loot belonged yep. to us, as one of our party members Ooh. had been alive when our assailant killed him, leaving not Ooh. just all five Horde players unable to complete the Ooh. quest, but also my they four, four comrades to reset. would be able to rectify the situation in three measly minutes. It was at this point I said, it's been a pleasure doing business with you, and continued my crusade to ruin the authentic classic experience. I decided I'd had my fill of the patented kill an orc in a castle gameplay and yep. began the quest chain for all of Scarlet Monastery. Ooh. Seeing as I'd farmed one wing 37 times, might I might as well, as well do it experience again. the whole dungeon. Yeah. After undergoing a multitude of repetitive he tasks, also did library, I headed to, to Desolus. Okay. Now you might recall me having a tough time in Stone Talon oh, Peak, no. which is on the way to where I'm going. He dances I made with sure me. to rectify oh, the situation at hand. It's always exciting discovering Killing new gray levels. you've never been to. You never Perfect. know what's gonna happen. You could see a reskin of a mob you've already killed hundreds of times. Yeah, wow. Slightly different looking NPCs with one of the dozen voices you've heard countless times. Oh. Incredible. Or maybe you'll even see purple what water. Brings you if here. you're really lucky, you'll get the pleasure of doing an escort mission. God, I love this 15 year old game. It's so bad, but so good. Yep. Questing in Desolus did have its moments. After getting ganked, I, I got I don't revived know about that. by a holy saint who complimented the videos. Little did he know that he was about to receive a multitude of letters containing copy-pasted homoerotic poetry. Make it happen. That's your boy what taking on fuck? six mobs at once, by the way. Twice an okay. hour, I get to speed up the gameplay. This yep. is sick. I also met Chargy, who stopped me from killing Horde players under he the guise no, that leave. we're not like them. We, we have, have honor? honor. A stance he would uphold right until we Not ran like into a horde monkeys? player nearly having soloed an elite boss that he needed to kill. At which oh, point, no. Chargy threw his morals out the window and did what <laughs> had to be done. After killing a bunch of skeletal warriors, <laughs> yeah, we know, each hey, went our own way. Do he you then do. got his corpse camped by that horde player until he had to log off. He can't. But honestly, yep. that didn't seem like a me problem. Oh, no. You see, I was focused on the task at hand. Putting Leveling the Ravager up. to good use on a part right. of the game everyone else seems to be ecstatic about. A part of the game that I personally despise. Scarlet Monastery. Isn't it exciting how a dungeon spanning four instances can have the same three models for all the enemies? The most thrilling part is that one boss spins. I stand by my original statement. This game does is cookie suck. clicker, but with more world building. Yeah, I'll spare it, you the boring details. It, it does kind of suck. I lost every roll on every item, with the exception of this useless dog whistle that summons oh, a hound with a minuscule amount of health. As per usual, I got us all killed by pulling too many mobs in the wrong way. Yeah, what a surprise. <clears throat> Twice. We eventually beat the dungeon, and I'm sure lots of stuff happened, but let's be honest. Lord knows I'm not going fishing in these seven hours of WoW recordings that aren't even in chronological order due to the CMOS Holy incident shit. resulting in random timestamps. Instead, I'll cut to me and Michael He's Scott using Sony dancing Vegas. on I use that to cut my videos involuntarily too. sleeping on the ground. Speaking of not in chronological order, this happened before I fixed my computer. 
What happened after I oh, fixed no. it? I started maniacally selling all my silk cloth on the auction house after finding Ooh. out I'd need 90 gold to buy a mount at level 40. Just which ask was viewers. Soon. I then went to the various man. quests in Stranglethorn Vale, true to the authentic classic experience, they were all very rewarding. Sorry, I pronounced that incorrectly. I meant monotonous. Even though it's something I spent 12 hours yeah. of my life on, I can't for the life of me think of a single interesting thing that happened. I could extensively reiterate how we killed some pirates, a sea giant, and hundreds of various exotic it's animals. A little bit low level, but don't truth you think? be told, I just get goosebumps and flashbacks from all the hoard encounters. Look at this shit. They turned me into a sheep. Wait and you just know it's going to gonna happen. And then you just know me. it's going to... I felt scummed out at this very moment. So before leaving Stranglethorn Vale, I decided to do something I'd been putting off for a long time. Killing an AFK player. Oh, I how's was that entirely go? unaware that that's what the booty bay bruisers do. Whoa. But, um, you live, you learn. Eventually, yep. I would go on to kill this spider, turn off the recording software, uh -huh. and then reach level 40. Wow. If you called me a sleep-deprived moron, your argument would have fair grounds to stand on. Okay. All of my hard work has led me to this point. Every drop of sweat, blood, and tears. And I've saved up 60 gold. Mm -hmm. It's actually now that it dawns on me, I need 30 more. So That's when right. I came to find that Steck had sent me a mail telling me to put these up my behind, containing yeah. 25 gold and 60 tin bars, along with 7 grime encrusted objects, and wow. 10 unidentifiable clubs of organic Authentic matter, Authentic classic was experience. To say the least. And whilst How we're on about the subject that? of mail, if you guys don't stop asking me for <laughs> I'm just not gonna Fuck show you yeah. mail. I'm trying to be monetized here, all right? Yeah. Anyways, with my newfound riches, I traveled back to where it all began, Darnassus, mm -hmm. where I graciously learned to ride a tiger. I then legally purchased a tiger. And let's be honest, wow. I'm pretty damn majestic right Absolutely now. Absolutely beautiful. However, considering Incredible. that my viewers paid for half of it, it ain't really all that impressive no. or fulfilling. So for the Gives ending, here's what we'll do instead. Somewhere in this video, there's an Easter egg which will lead you on a scavenger hunt. If you actually manage to make it to the end, you'll be rewarded with my secret ice cream recipe. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. So that means I just read the comments and they tell me where to go, right? Like, that's, you know, that's the secret. Trust me, I've, I, I've been through this before. I know how this works. Yeah, I, I get it, man. It's a QR code. Listen, I don't do QR codes. Um, I, I can't subscribe to anybody because for whatever reason, whenever I click sign in on YouTube, it gives me an error. And I have to delete my cookies, but I was like, man, I want cookies. And so I didn't want to delete them yet.